Well, when I first talk to a buyer, I first want to find out what they're looking for. Now, we need to know what their price range is, and we need to make sure that they've gotten pre-qualified, and especially in a hot market like we're experiencing right now. being a seller's market because, well, first you take COVID into consideration and how that sped things up and then you have the limited availability of homes. There's low inventory out there. So you wanna have your best foot forward and you wanna have your buyers be ready if they do find a property they like. Because if not, they go see a property then they try to get pre-qualified, they can't get a hold of their lender and then they, they miss out on the house they fell in love with. So I've find out how much they can afford and what towns they're looking at. And then I tell them to maybe drive around the neighborhoods if they aren't familiar with the neighborhoods or the town to really get a better idea of what they want to look at. How many beds, how many baths, what square footage they need. Do they have an idea on how many square footage? Do they have pets? Do they have dogs? Do they need a fenced yard? A lot of questions that go into it. Um, do they need yard space? Do they need do they want to be rural? Do they want to be in town? What kind of atmosphere are you looking for? There's there's a lot that goes into it and it's each situation is different, so it just depends on what they're kind of looking for. Really delving into what they're looking for and figuring it out is really what I'd say is uh, paramount when you're working with buyers. Well, I think when it comes to scheduling showings for a buyer or even for the seller, when you have a hot market and having to Keep track of everybody that's going to come through in 15 minute intervals get them in and out get them in and out of the house in as quick as efficient time as possible making sure that they're not disturbing things just getting ready for showings we want to have its best foot forward because you only get one chance to make a first impression so i'm going to go through and i'm going to make sure all the toilet seats are closed and make sure all the lights are on and for a seller you want to make sure that all the lights have light bulbs in them I had, I've had a couple clients that when we've kind of looked at houses, they're like, never fails. There's always one, one light bulb out in every single house I look at. And it's like, you're putting your best foot forward. Why wouldn't you put the light bulbs in? Fresh light bulbs, check it all out. And like taking pictures with a toilet seat up. It just, it, it, no one wants to see the toilet seat. No one wants to see the inside of the toilet. You leave those toilet seats down. You gotta have the eye for detail and you gotta see little things that really can show up in a photo or in a yeah. person's image. I mean, I know we did one photo shoot and someone had left a trash can out and I had, and the photographer missed it. So I had to make sure I grabbed it and took it out of the way. And the photographer had to edit it out, but it worked, you know?